So that is the actual pyramid that's present in Bangalore. going to Pyramid Valley. A simple Google search as Pyramid Valley didn't actually give me, I had to also give village its My appeal to the ashram is this road is used only to reach ashram. None of the others use this. And I'm sure you're getting good funds because you're renovating your pyramid, main pyramid and all that. So why are you not concentrating on improving these roads? So I finally come here to a place called Pyramid Valley. This valley was built by Brahmarshi Patriji. Brahmarshi Patriji wanted to bring everyone together. And that will be the path I'll be going through. speakers there they are playing the soothing music all around this place is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and uh, you can visit here it's really beautiful the, this statue here of Brahmarshi Patriji the samsthapak of this foundation the pyramid foundation you can see a beautiful lake behind this. So I wanted to do my first ever Q&A in a very special place because of two reasons. One, I had a request from a few of my subscribers on why don't you start Q&A. Many vloggers do Q&A at those places. We want to know what you feel about so that we can relate better to what you do and what you say. It will be very good if I include a session of Q&A in one of my vlogs. Per week it would be Saturdays or Sunday session where Q&A will be doing Q&A and uh, here is my first question and this is my first question my first question was people wanted to know why I travel so much you might see that out of my 55 vlogs at least 40 vlogs will be that I'm traveling to some new place the reason is I'm a travel junkie traveling keeps me ticking it's like you know the heartbeat I know it's an exaggeration but it's like my heartbeat I love traveling if I stay at home in on one weekend I feel so depressed I was so depressed over the last week the whole of last week because I didn't upload anything and I, I didn't travel anywhere traveling motivates me it's usually the other way you know exploring different things motivates people but traveling motivates me to explore new things Traveling motivates me to come up with new ideas. Traveling is all I live on. So I love travel. Second one, my vlogs do not have a specific format. Why? See, when I'm actually making a vlog, I just have a broad storyline, right? Okay, today I'm going to Pyramid Valley. Some time lapses, capture the sceneries and capture a few more videos. That is what I think and put it on the paper and just walk into the place or travel to the place. And then when I travel there, I may notice few more things or far lesser things than I actually plan. The format keeps floating. My vlog usually has these four things. One, a confusing introduction. Second one is a time lapse. 
and third one is the actual video or the storyline and the fourth one is the conclusion and compliments so this is the loose format that i follow i don't want it to be pre predictable anything predictable will definitely be uninteresting ending in so many questions i really didn't expect that i'll be getting questions at this point and you people are so you know welcoming on me that you've already started sending me few questions i appreciate your uh, thank you and enjoy keep watching my vlog subscribe down below So that is the actual pyramid that's present in Bangalore. I'm finally here. Picturing is not allowed inside the temple because people mainly come here to meditate. And the place inside is pin drop silent. It's literal pin drop silence. So I'm not going to film inside. But on the other side, there's something special. It's a hanging bridge. Look how beautiful this is. To stand there and watch over it's an amazing buddha statue over there with the greenery and then the brown waters amazing so that is where you can get some lunch they'll also let people stay they they are the rooms it's amazing look at the view from there So I'm actually coming here from the other side. This is how it looks. I'm on the bridge. There is there is water on both sides. Look how amazing it is. So this is it, uh, this bridge is amazing to look at. Now I'll be going in front of the pyramid. I won't be allowed to film inside, but I'll try to get the front of it. Finally, this is the pyramid that's in Bangalore. This is the front of it. You have to go in from there. The experience here is really good. It's a must visit if you are in and around Bangalore. If you are somewhere on Kanakpura Road, the stretch, it would take you around 45 minutes to one hour or it would take you something more than that, around two hours. But it's a good half day program here. If you come after your breakfast, you can stay till the sunset and then After I'm done filming the pyramid, I can't just take my view out of it. It looks so beautiful. Wow. I think I'll just get a time lapse here. So now, 11.55 p.m. Same day that I went to Pyramid Valley. I'm editing. I tasted tea there. I didn't expect such a good tea. Amazing. And this is a footage that I had on my secondary camera. And I'm, I'm, I was just importing and I wanted to add it at the last. So, there it is.
<laughs> I'm trying tea there. That looks really amazing. Look at that. Look at that. I love this expression. I love traveling. I love eating. I love exploring new places. So all my future vlogs will be based on these three loose agendas with some bits of my daily pieces in it.